Life is sacred. All the nature is sacred. And the plant medicine, they are expression and awareness of this planet, Pachamama. And ayahuasca is a wonderful and huge door to go to your real self, who you really are, what do you really want, and your purpose in this life. And remember, you are the medicine to heal, to guide you, to transform and create the personal life you want. And then, be part of everything and service, being connected and caring every single expression of life everywhere. Life is sacred. I don't know how I arrived here. I felt a call to come. For over the past few years, I felt very lost. Um, I've gone through periods of grief, of depression, of pain. I needed to find myself again. And I, somehow I ended up here. Before my first experience, I was feeling very numb. I couldn't feel anymore. And what I got from my first ayahuasca journey was mental and emotional. I started to feel again. Um, I hadn't felt love for a long time. I hadn't felt joy for a long time. And that was, that is what I can remember from my first journey, is just an overwhelming feeling of a feeling. Uh, of feeling love, feeling joy, a feeling connection. I got in touch with my mother who I lost and that brought out so much in me, so many emotions, so many feelings. I connected with my grandfather who I never really knew. I connected with myself, with my fears. I was worrying about the um, the questions in my head and worrying about the answers as well. I was confused because I wasn't expecting those answers either, but they came to me for a reason. My story starts nine years ago when I had a dream that something was bothering me here. And when I wake up, and I touched, I found a lamp. So from that day I knew, breast cancer. And from that moment, I start to do my big journey, to knew myself, to understand how much powerful we are. So come here for the first ceremony, I need to clean. What, what, what exactly I need to do? Please, God, universe, mom, helping me. So when I come back to the room, the ceremonial room, and I realize I was clean and I was ready to reconnect with the, all my ancestors. The music started to play and play and guide and I was there. When I saw myself, I was dancing with all my family. On the right side, the woman, las abuelas. All the women of my generations. And my daughter here with me. And on the left, I had my father. And I was so happy to be with him. I hugged him. And I said, how much I'm grateful for you to give me the chance to be here. And I love you. So I had all my family together with me. And it was the most 
beautiful thing ever. We had a circle and we dancing together. We dancing, we dancing, we cleaning. And this experience for me was the reconnection because my big purpose, right, is to bring me the knowledge and the experience to helping others and they help me, they helping me. So I'm grounded now with them. The mission of Avalon is to create a, a space where we are on service and use different tools to empower people, to make them free and aware so we can create a better place to live with less suffering, less pain and more harmony. Avalon, the people, was picked not by coincidence. Everybody was here for some reason. Everybody who's working with have something to share with you, sharing with us, to teach us in different ways. This is the most beautiful. But one thing more important, everybody has here. The heart, the touch, the hug. It's, 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 it's a unique experience. Before I came, I was very lonely. I, was, I pushed everyone away because I felt like I needed to get in touch with myself. But since I tried ayahuasca throughout my journey, the uh, insight that it gave me was the importance of connection, the importance of unity. Um, I felt my ancestors with me. They were giving me strength. They were giving me love. I have always felt my ancestors walking by my side. But my journey showed me that they actually are walking by my side. You can access, really, the pure of your existence. I don't know if you can call the subconscious mind, because it looks like something that is a place. But imagine the universe and one thing, it's you. I was there with no material, nothing, just energy. And I realized I could connect with mom. She said to me, because I was looking for a physically image. And mom told me, then she is everywhere. She's here, right now with me. She made me understand on the first ceremony, I can have her every time, anywhere. The person that arrived here had bad habits, had negativity, had sadness. The person that's leaving is leaving with happiness. He's leaving with new habits, positive habits. Ayahuasca is the door for me to accept my spirituality, work with my spirituality. They didn't give it to me just for I use with myself. They gave it to me to use with others. So what I came to do here was exactly like this learning and have this spiritual experience to share with other people. I want to look after my body, I want to look after myself, I want to look after my family and I want to breathe in everything I can. I found a curiosity to learn, to discover and to remain present, to remain conscious. Everybody has a bag that they carry with problems in it. Everybody has their issues. Everybody is different at the end of the day. But we find connections in similarities, in our stories, in what we have in our bag. And that has helped me feel less confused and less lost. And I believe 
this is the experience everybody needs. Because it's kind of the awakening, but you don't know how, but you don't need to know how. You need to come here. You need to have your own experience. Not what people said to you, or you need to do, or you're gonna experience this. Your experience is unique because you are unique. This is a gift of life. If you have the opportunity, this is the moment to receive it and start to do it. A home at Akiasi. Your journey has started. You are living and breathing. The journey will be long. Hard times are ahead. But you have the strength to keep on walking the path. Do not lose yourself and stay true.